pancake, pancake on the wall. Who's the tastiest of them all? Well, that answers that question. Practicing pancakes, I'm here at one of my favorite pancakeries in the country. I'm at the Russell Spoon in Bloomington, Indiana. We just went to a practice with the IU swim team. We're coming off of the Bloomington Pro Swim. This is the day after the meet ended. So I came into Monday afternoon thinking it was gonna be kind of a recovery practice. And it was to an extent, but we got the best of both worlds. And the breaststroke group head coach Ray Lee really made the best of that breaststroke practice by working a lot on technique. And let me tell you, Ray Luz knows breaststroke technique. Come back here with your head, like you rear up too high, you're getting out of the first quadrant. You want the, you want the head in the first quadrant, you know, as much as possible. Second quadrant's here, okay, and then legs is third quadrant, okay? So breaststroke, you want, you want the pull right, right in that first quadrant. Never leave it. And if you go too high, you're gonna get into the second quad. Plus it makes the breath take too long. Okay. Okay? Alright. Faster breath, because the head's heavy. Yeah. Pound, pound. And then that snaps the hips up. The head's over here and balances the hips <laughs> out. Hips can stay. If you want if the hips can ride right at the surface, yeah. never going up and down. Faster swimming. Okay. Less drag. Hyped, like something that's gonna put me in a good mood, make me feel good. And then I can watch their breathing. So, so if the hips are if the hips, the hips are a little higher than the head. You're gonna get really good quality kicks, and you're gonna really maximize your mind. And then you look at a new guy and see how deep he is, and then he's doing uphill kicks. So in swimming, when the breaststroker's hips are low, it's probably cutting 30, 40 percent off what you're what you're what you're hoping to get out of the kick. Gotcha. I believe it's all about the position of the hips in relation to the surface of the water. It's the one thing kicking on your side underwater. See? Kicking on your side of the water narrows the, the knees. Then they don't have a choice for some reason. It's a small tire inner tube. Mm -hmm. You cannot buy this in any swim shop. But you can go to Tire Barn. Tire Barn. Okay, or any store like that. You got the strap, and then you can progress to the small tube and then the bigger one. Different different degrees of resistance. <laughs> so then, then we can have everybody be competitive. You can race. That's the difference. Ah. It's a, a big difference, actually. Yeah. And this, this makes it more comfortable, because this serrated type edge cuts up, cuts up the ankles a little bit so they've learned how to doctor them up <laughs> but you can learn a lot from history I'm trying to see if there's any dates on this but this is kind of the, the structure and lots of not a lot of full swimming so breast kick breast pull 
some fly in there. We just don't. We just do it twice a week. They did it every day, <laughs> all week. And, and anyways, Darney came up, to, or um, Najee came up to me and he goes, I can't get anybody to do it anymore. And I go, neither. He goes, how do you? I go, we only do it twice a week. <laughs> personal favorite things they did it was called the Carla drill it's it's um one right arm butterfly stroke one left arm butterfly stroke and after the left arm stroke you surge underwater you do an underwater stroke like right underneath the surface and then pop up and do a normal stroke and that should take you a full 25 so I mean yeah it's rough. so yeah go ahead and demonstrate this is great for time and calibration of time. That's a Carla drill? Yeah, it's named after some guy named Carla. <laughs> C-A-R-L-A. stroke fins that were literally just like uh they're just you know what I'm talking about? I do, I do. I don't know. I've not seen them since. How to go out of business how to go out of business is make a breaststroke fin. It's hard to do. I haven't found it I haven't found anybody weird. I haven't found anybody you know everybody that likes them is not a breaststroke. Of course. Of course. So all right, let's give it a whirl. Yeah, that is very bizarre. <laughs> very strange. <laughs> It's kind of. I feel like it needs more, like, for here. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because it's like, it does. It it there, it does put a lot of emphasis on your toes. So like, when you sweep out, you don't really feel like you're catching much. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. It's it's very strange. I can actually kick. Like, I can kick pressure fins or pressure kick with these. Like, I do it. I mean, I'll do it a lot, but like, I can. Yeah. Like if I do like an 800 IM or because we're actually gonna do one of those, I'll literally just kick rest kick with these fins. <laughs> but I think that's just because I have like really flexible ankles. You yeah. Know? I don't think most people can do that. <laughs> you know, it's just. I don't think so. Just, just weird. <laughs> go in with Ray. Go easy. Ask him to just let you do one easy and go super fast on the other one. My best is like 242. I know. Woo! 
51 Oh, seconds. baby. Pain uh, train. Is that your best? No. He could sub 250. Damn. Yeah. Damn. I haven't, we haven't done that in a while. Wow. Pain train, man. Hey, you go 251 and it's not your best time to practice. That's when you know you're pretty good.